Welcome back to Dracon's Place, Sultan Sanctuary. Alright. So we're gonna go and take on the final boss. First, though, we just have a teeny, teeny bit left of the Still Palace to go through. Okay, I think that's literally just to show off that item there. A chest of salt. I think that one's 10k. Yeah, so it's kind of dark here and hard to see. But you take um, mandatory fall damage there. Birds. Yeah. Alright, there's nothing up there. That's strange. Alright, here we go. Final boss. So top off, drop down while the healing effect's still in. The Nameless God. Alright, so this is that god that guy was talking about. Alright. Alright, so he is ridiculously fast and he has a ludicrous grab. Ah, crap. The developers also love that attack. There's like four or five bosses in the game that have the same magic attack. Which I personally believe it. that magic attack to begin with is a bad design. Because it's dang near... Um, like, it's insanely strong. Crap. Why? It, it's an insanely strong attack. Ah, crap. And I don't actually have... Alright. What's the block on this? 95 Arcane. I don't know if that's holy or not. That shield will be the ideal, but it's a class 2, which means I would need some levels to be able to use it. Which I couldn't get even if I wanted to. Eight mandatory fall damage like this. Um, at least on a boss run. Yeah, on a boss run, I feel it's very egregious. The Nameless God. So he is insanely... That grab hits. Like, no kidding, that grab hits 90.
Oh my god, and he can combo the heck out of you. Oh my. Alright, it's Arcane. Ah, crap. Oh my! Ah, that friggin' crap! Ah, oh, come on. I went... I hit the wrong button to change my shield, and then it was... Hmm. <sighs> I feel like this boss could have used a little bit of tweaking. Um, like a lot of bosses in this game, I just feel the balance is a little off. Um, his attack speed is ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna trade damage for stagger. We'll see if that helps. Because he staggers on... I think it was three hits. Yeah, I think I was getting staggered on three hits on him. So, by putting the stagger one on, I might be able to get him to stagger... On like every two which means I could potentially combo him but all right nameless God That grab has a ridiculous startup. Oh, good. Like, all of his attacks are lightning fast. He can also delay these start. Okay, I just staggered him out of that magic attack. That's awesome. The Nameless God's Ashes. Okay. All right. So anyway, I'm going to pause it for a second so I can do a save backup so that way we can get both ending. So I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Okay, so now I just have to go back to the boss arena. Why do wall grab there? Got something in my eye there. Alright. But yeah, so we'll just go back to the boss arena now. And get one ending. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately the way um, saves work in this game. Um, yeah, the way the save work... When you quit out of the game, you respawn.
50 strength. That's the um, soft cap. Alright, here we are. And as you can see, this area looks very, very tiny. Skip over the well. My eye itches now. Alright, so now we're going to get the bad ending to start with. So, this scarecrow guy that's been talking this the entire time was the Nameless God. As you can see, he has the same helm, and we can take the helm or do nothing. We are going to take it to get the Dominion ending. Put on the helm. And then you replace him. And you become the Nameless God. All the way up out of the Still Palace. Through the Crypt of the Dead Gods. Superstitions. Fleeting Gods. Crushed in hem, hewn, are bloodied rocks. So each creed gets a um, different, like, little poem. Salt and Sanctuary. Alright. So that was the first ending. I'll be right back with the second. Alright, and let's go ahead and earn that final ending. So this next one is the Salvation Ending. So this is the canon... I, I don't know if it... I wouldn't say if it's the canon one. How the heck did that happen? But it's the good ending, while the other, where you take the crown, is the bad. And you just jump down the well. You lose your weapon, your helmet. No, I didn't lose my helmet. That was my shield coming off my back. So we're swimming. It's dark and hard to see, but you can see the little swimming motions he's doing. But then he emerges above the waves. Will of Man. Steel in stone. Rest from sea. For iron hope. You notice the tree is right side up this time. Yeah, so that was the good ending. Very, like, very short endings. Uh, obviously, this game took a ton of inspiration from Dark Souls. They did do some of their own stuff, like the unlockable, um, like, brands, the runes you get that gives you all the extra moves. That was a cool addition that makes sense, given the 2D nature of this game. Um, yeah. Now, if you look, there are not a lot of people that worked on this game. Like, uh, only a handful, really. Um, I think there's more people in... Yeah, there's more QA people than there are actual developers. Which is insane. Oh. Man. A lot of this game was apparently just developed by... I believe it's a husband and wife? But... They brought in some people for localization. Um, some extra people for, like, script writing and, um, like, description writing and other such things. Make-A-Wish Foundation. Why is... So this is, like, I this was a crowdfunded game, I believe. I think it was a Kickstarter. So this is, like, all the people that gave money. God. Okay. And thanks to me, <laughs> apparently. Thank you for playing. A New Adventure Awaits. And then it drops in New Game Plus, which, unfortunately, is exactly like other Souls games. 
Hang on, I'll show you. Where it's like, you just start over. It, it, you just start the game over again. And enemies are just tougher. Apparently insanely tougher. Holy crap. I have never actually played any in New Game Plus. Like, sheesh, I did nothing to that guy. Did those do carry over, that's cool. Two levels. The insanity of it all. Okay. It's just... It, unfortunately... It doesn't do a lot to establish itself as its own game in some respects. Like, New Game Plus, from what I've read, is literally just like what you would expect from a Souls game. Where it's the same... But you don't do as... like... You do the same, but there are more, um... The enemies have more health. There we go. So it... Which is kind of disappointing. It would have been awesome if they... Like, built an actual, like full new game plus, and I went for a move that I didn't have. But, unfortunately, that's not the route they decided to go. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, I'm just gonna, like, play through up to Sodden Knight. I'm curious how tough he is. Probably not. Like, at all. But it... Yeah. I've already... It feels like some of the bosses could have used a bit more balancing. Because they're insanely... They just have an insane moveset. Where they can easily combo you out. Wow, I do, like, new game level damage. Yeah, one of the complaints I've heard about the new game plus is because of like where the soft caps are in this game and how like the skill tree works and all that. And, and that's what I mean about them being able to combo you out. Because he turned around it was physically impossible, but probably you might be able to do it with rolls. But bosses can 
like, easily... Sodden Knight's pretty fair. I'm not going to give him anything. But, like, Nameless God didn't need to have, like, that insane lightning attack. Uh, well, not lightning. It was arcane, but the magic attack. I'm getting greedy as all heck. Wow! That crosses the entire arena, apparently. Wow. Double heal. It's like... Wow. The fact that he can hit you in the air like that when your character is horizontal in the air, so if you would hit the ground, you would, like, have iframes. That's where this game has some, like, utter ridiculousness. Because it's like, he can air juggle you to death. I'm also still trying to play, like... I, I keep going for, like, dark jump, never mind. Alright, extra dabblage. But it... Yeah, there's a few just wonky things with how this game... Ow. Controls. If you're smart, you can actually trade in this game. Gotcha. But it's like, already, we're not, like, that strong against bosses and stuff. And they're only gonna get tougher, but because where we're at, in the way sca scaling apparently works in this game, we are not gonna be doing nearly as well. Which is where the problems start coming in. And also, holy crap, that gave us a ton of salt. But yeah, anyways. At least we're one-shotting these guys. And it's like, I have one of the most damaging weapons in the game. But look at, like, Sodden Knight. I believe bosses especially got a health buff. If I remember correctly about what I read about. But it's like, holy crap, I already have 94,000? At least they make up for that. That's only three levels. Wow.
Yeah, if the damage scaling after 50, we're not deal gaining nearly as much damage as before. Hello, friend. But anyways, um, yeah, so I think there's just some balance problem. Rolling is a little weird in this game, especially the rolling through some of the bosses is just wonky. Like, the, um, dragon kraken that we fought near then there. Just wonky. But anyways, overall I think it's a very well done game. 2D side scrollers aren't my thing, which I think is partially contributing to how I feel. Also the fact that they don't even remix like the salt stuff that you get is kind of insane. But anyways. Alright, so we currently get 196 points. We only get 0.5 damage on an S scaling strength weapon. Which is insane to me. But anyways, I am gonna wrap this one up here. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and Salt and Sanctuary, and I hope you guys check it out for yourselves. And I hope you guys will join us, or join me, why am I saying up? Will join me for my next adventure. So anyways, I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!